What's going on everybody? Kenny Bomb is in the building and welcome back to our Mortal Kombat 1 Aftermath series. Now we saw in one universe Liu Kang got killed by Quan Chi and Shang Tsung. We saw in another universe he got killed by Lord Raiden. And if Mortal Kombat 1 story taught us anything, it's the fact that some things are just inevitable. And based on seeds planted all over Mortal Kombat 1 story, it looks like Liu Kang's death may just be one of those things. They're planted all over his tower ending as well. So let's take a look at it and see if we can get any indication of what will happen to Liu Kang in the future. My loyal partner had warned me. Reclaiming my power as keeper of time might have unforeseen consequences. Before we get too deep into this thing, we gotta talk about this loyal partner thing because I said Gears was a bad guy in Mortal Kombat 11 and I still feel like he was. But based on Mortal Kombat 1's story, it shows he actually wasn't, but I still don't trust him. In this, as in most things, he proved prescient. The process I had undergone did irreparable harm to my body. Taking back my power, had cost me my immortality. Now that is an important detail. Liu Kang gave away his power. Like, why would he give away his power? I didn't understand that in the story. But then he took it back because he obviously needed it. But why would they make that little caveat there that taking his power back cost him his immortality? I think that's the biggest indicator there that Liu Kang will be losing his spot and he will be losing his life as well. That's gonna be a pretty crazy thing to see. And I think that may spark another reset, but we'll see how it goes. While my lifespan would still stretch across eons, I would one day perish. And if the war with Titan Shang Tsung taught me anything, it is that this timeline is not safe without a protector. All right, so there's kind of how they mask it up. They says, okay, I'm not immortal, but you know what? My life is still gonna last for eons. It's not enough. It's not fooling me. He's not immortal. That's the big thing here. He's not immortal so he can get killed. His life is not going to go on the eons. I think they're going to fight some crazy battle. I don't know if it's going to be Onago or not, but somebody's going to end up killing Liu Kang. Yet I had never given thought to choosing a successor. Who is it that could replace me and protect my new era? The answer, of course, is Gyrus. Tireless and meticulous, he is perfectly suited to be entrusted with this grave duty. Look at him. He just looks like he's ready to do something evil. Nah, I'm just kidding. Shout out to Gears. But Liu Kang did in fact lose his immortality in Mortal Kombat 1 story. So it looks like they're already setting us up for the next universe. Which looks like it's going to be the universe of Gears. Could you imagine putting Gears in that spot where you had Lord Raiden, where you had Liu Kang? Now, you got Liu Kang and Raiden set up as humans on Earth with Gears being the head of everything. There's a lot of story you could tell there with human Raiden, human Liu Kang. Do you tie the great Kung Lao back in there since they skipped out on him this time. Gears is apparently neutral, so he wouldn't be holding down Quan Chi and Shang Tsung. Everybody would kind of be on an even playing field, so we could end up exactly back where we were in the first universe. I know, I hate the time travel stuff too, but it's in Mortal Kombat's DNA now. But before we finish up this story, let's look in these portals because I see Cassie Cage here. I can see Shao Kahn here. I have no idea what this is. It looks like it might be Shang Tsung in the portal. And I have no idea what these things are either. No Onaga, so I don't know. Let's go ahead and finish this up. And no one knows better the temptations of the hourglass. I have no doubt he will be above them. Garrus does seem like the straight man, so I don't think he would go down like an evil path, but... <sighs> Again, y'all, do we need to reset this timeline again? Let me know how y'all feel about all these timeline resets in the comment section, but I want to give y'all an update on this channel here as well. As y'all know, NetherRealm Studios is not giving us a lot of content to go off of to make new Mortal Kombat stuff. Now, of course, we're going to continue our Mortal Kombat 1 Aftermath series going over every tower ending in Mortal Kombat 1, and I'll try to come up with some other fun Mortal Kombat videos as well, but you guys will start seeing other games being covered on the channel. WWE 2K24 is a hot one right now, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero should be about to heat up, and I'm going to do some Tekken 8 stuff, so Mortal Kombat 1 content will always continue as it always has, but I will start picking 
end up covering other games as well because they're really not giving us anything to work with. But I look at these videos as successful when they get at least 500 likes. So if you guys want to see these continue, do me a favor and let me know by dropping a like on this video. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button if you haven't already, if you don't want to miss any updates on Mortal Kombat 1. Bomb Squad, let's get to that.